Laser. In this chapter, we are going to learn about laser. Laser, or light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, is a device that produces an intense beam of monochromatic light. Laser is an electromagnetic radiation and is used for reading. Communications Metal cutting Surgery and Defense The properties of laser light are as follows. The idea of laser is based on Albert Einstein's theory of light. Laser was developed first time by Gordon Gould in 1957. When the coherent optical oscillator was first imagined in 1957, it was originally called the optical maser. Later, it was changed to laser. Theodore Maimon gave us the first working laser in 1960. In quantum physics, each electron stays at a certain energy level. Different energy levels correspond to different energies of the electrons. More the distance from the nucleus, higher is the energy level. Usually, electrons exist either in ground state or in excited state. When all electrons of an atom are at the lowest possible energy level, it is at the ground state. When one or more electrons are at a higher energy level, we say that the atom is at an excited state. When a free electron of an atom absorbs a photon of energy, it moves to higher energy state. And this process is called excitation. Certain substances have electrons that continue to stay in higher energy state for a longer time. Such systems are called active systems or active media that are usually compounds or mixtures of different elements. The process of exciting the electrons from the lower state to the higher energy state is called population inversion. The process of supplying energy from an external source to achieve population inversion in a system is called pumping. Electrons transit between energy levels by absorbing or emitting light. When an electron from an orbit of higher energy transits energy to an orbit of lower energy by emitting a photon of energy, it is called spontaneous emission. The energy of a photon E is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by nu. When photons of energy are incident, the electrons in the lower energy level become excited due to absorption of light. However, most of the electrons return to the ground state by spontaneous emission. If an electron is already in an excited state, then an incoming photon for which the quantum energy is equal 
to the energy difference between its present level and a lower level can stimulate a transition to that lower level, producing a second photon of the same energy. This type of emission is called stimulated emission. The emitted photon is exactly in phase with the stimulating photon. So, in stimulated emission, two identical photons are produced. There are three types of laser, namely solid laser, liquid laser and gaseous laser. Solid state lasers have lasing material distributed in a solid matrix. The neodymium YAG laser emits infrared light at 1064 nanometers. Dye lasers use complex organic dyes in liquid solution or suspension as lasing media. They are used in astronomy, spectroscopy, an atomic vapor laser isotope. Gas lasers have a primary output of visible red light. Carbon dioxide lasers are used for cutting hard materials. In addition to these, there are excimer lasers and semiconductor lasers. Excimer lasers use reactive gases and inert gases as the lasing medium. When electrically stimulated, a pseudomolecule or dimer is produced. When lased, the dimer produces light in the ultraviolet range. Semiconductor lasers are electronic devices using low power. They may be built as the writing source in some laser printers or CD players. Lasers have a wide range of applications. Laser can be further focused to a microscopic dot of extremely high energy density. It is thus used for delicate surgery. Carbon dioxide lasers are used in automobile industries for welding and cutting. Helium, neon and semiconductor lasers are often used for surveying and measuring distances. Laser cutters cut loads of varying thickness with precision. Fiber optic cables used in communication are often modulated by light emitting diodes or lasers. Lasers are also used as barcode scanners, heat treatments in metallurgy, etc.